The Lula Hugh Ecological Monitoring Project takes place in the Gitgat village of Tahiu. This remote and isolated village is home to about 140 to 160 people on a yearly basis. There are no stores, there are no roads, just boardwalks, ATVs, and of course, boats. The Gitgat Nation has been here since time immemorial and due to their remoteness, still have a strong attachment to their traditional ways. This is a land of people who still straddle the boundary between a hunter-gatherer society and an agrarian society. Much of the local diet is made up of what they harvest from the land. Yet if you were to search Yahu in Google Earth, it would say that could not understand your location. This is because if you look on a Government of Canada map, this place is called Hartley Bay, which resides on the northwest coast of Canada in British Columbia. The Gitgat represent the southernmost community of the Simshan people, whose cultural stories move north up past Prince Rupert and east down the Skeena towards Terrace. The Lula Hugh Ecological Monitoring Project was run out of Hartley Bay School. The student body is 100% Gitgat and First Nations. The school works closely with community and elders to provide a place-based educational model. This provides a unique intertwining of both traditional and Western educational philosophies. Our focus for this project was an estuary right next to Hartley Bay. Its Somalia name is Lula Hugh. Lula Hugh means a place or bay where the grass grows in Somalia. Its Anglophone name is Malsi Bay. However, many of the locals call it Mossy Bay. Mossy Bay itself resides about 1.2 kilometers from Hartley Bay as the crow flies. There is a trail you can hike, but the most popular mode of transportation is by boat. This project collected baseline data for the following data sets. Trail cameras, animal survey, stream flow, salinity temperature monitors, and beach seining fish populations. Logan, a grade six student in Mr. Jans' class, talks about the trail camera portion of the data collection. With the trail cameras, we try to see what kind of land animals are at Mossy Bay. We put out four trail cameras. Once we got the data, we took it up to the school and see what kind of land animals are there. Uh, we saw a wolf, a deer, and a bear. This helps us connect to our traditional territory and our land. The class, along with the guardians, have started taking stream flow rates. Max, a grade 7 student in Mr. Jans' class, was one of the students who put on some waders and helped calculate the stream flow. We were trying to find out the stream flow by how fast it's moving and how uneven it is. We had a um, big measuring tape that someone walked through the side of the river with them 
And then we measured how far away it was and if it wasn't moving or not. And then we got a big top gray thing that we stuck in the water halfway and then kept it going over and over again. But um, and then Chris Picard had a big a yellow thing uh, and she was reading what it said. And then Brianna was writing it down. In addition to stream flow, the Lula Hugh project began collecting data on salinity and temperature of various spots in the Mossy Bay estuary. Brianne is a grade six student in Mr. Jans's class. We built the things to for the data loggers. We used a cement PVC pipe and then we put the logger in and then we went to go put it out like in Mossy Bay, up the river Moss, at Mossy Bay and like out of Mossy Bay. It is important because if anything goes wrong, we might not be able to eat seafood and we might not be able to drink the water there. Finally, the class cataloged the different types of aquatic fish in the estuary through beach seining. Olivia, a grade eight student in Mr. Jans's class, discusses getting this data set. We were trying to find out all the different species that we have in, in our river by Mossy Bay. We beach sand and um, Chris Picard had, um, he had one side of the net and I had the other and we walked across sort of a beach and then we dragged it up onto the beach and then we looked to see what we could find. The best time to collect this data is when it's low tide. One type of fish that we discovered was two fish and it was really weird. It looks like grass. I, I wouldn't even know. And we also found Chinook, Chum and Pike. By understanding our habitat, we can understand our food resources. While collecting this data is an important part of this project, the most important part was creating educational experiences for the students and community members. These experiences deepen the relationship between the students, the community, and their ecology. One of the highlights has been going in the water and grabbing crabs. Being in the chest waders. I like being in the chest waders because I like being in water. My favorite one was doing the beach cleaning because I've picked up crabs with my hands and I know which ones are males and females. It was pretty fun. One of the things I enjoyed was walking in the water and the chest waders. Looking at all the different kinds of fishes and all that, holding them, and all the fish, and the crabs. One of the things I most enjoyed was the boat ride in the beach sailing. We were looking at the fish when they are in the bucket. I like doing the beach sailing because you got to pick up the crabs and other stuff. For me, the highlights were the chest waders and the boat rides. I like learning outside better because we get to go in the water 
and I remember more. I like learning out in Mossy Bay because it's it's just fun and we sort of actually connect with our land. I'd rather be in Mossy Bay instead of learning everything from paper. The Lula Hugh monitoring project has been a great success. It has progressed the educational goals of both the community and the government. The project has given students and the community a chance to collect important data which will allow the Gitgat people to defend their claims and plan their land use. But most importantly, this project has given the future leaders of the Gitgat people more tools and experiences to draw upon in order to continue Gitgat occupancy of their land for generations to come. <laughs>